I ain't believing it. I am not believing that. He was a bitch! No, he wasn't! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're not doing no intro, no, 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 that. Last night, we made a video where I reacted to, I think I showed you like five, six, seven different live reactions of Alabama fans to the Iron Bowl. And unfortunately, gosh, I hate this even freaking happening. I knew it was going to happen because I think I said something about it in the video. It got taken down due to copyright because you know how the NCAA is because in the live reactions, if you show too much of the TV screen, boom. They take it down just like that. So yeah, that sucks. It is what it is. I'm going to try to re-edit it, and I'll come to an executive decision probably either later tonight or probably tomorrow whether I try to re-upload that or whatnot. It just sucks because a bunch of you probably already seen the video, so it doesn't really matter to you, but I worked on the video, so I wanted to be up on the channel. I don't know. I'll figure it out tomorrow. For now, at least, I'm leaning towards the side of I'll try to get that back up as soon as possible, but in today's video or tonight's video, we're going to be doing vice versa. We're not going to take a look at the Alabama fans' live reaction. We're going to be taking a look, and I can't wait to look at these, the Auburn fans' live reaction to the Iron Bowl. I have already seen two or three of these, but there's like five or six other ones I haven't seen. And to me, at least, the Auburn fans' live reactions are way better and more enjoyable to watch than the Alabama fans' live reactions. I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. There's just something about watching these Auburn fans, whether they were at the game or they're at their house, and they're thinking they're about to win the game, they got their phones out, they're about to celebrate it, post it all over social media, and just like that, we rip their hearts out. I love it, man. I love it. I'm not going to act like I don't because I do. It's a satisfying feeling because you know dang well if Auburn would have won that game, we wouldn't have heard the end of it. And I wish I could sit up here and say I hate it for the Auburn fans, but I don't. Because right when I even try to start feeling bad for them, I'm like, wait a minute. No, 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 no. They've been bringing up the kick six the past nine to ten years. The premise of this video is relatively simple. No intro, none of that. We're going to get straight into it. The first one we're going to take a look at, I've already seen it, but it's so good. It was going viral on TikTok. It's got over 700,000 likes. Twitter, Instagram, seeing it everywhere. It's from Miss Livy Rubin. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Like I said, every reaction we're going to take a look at is from an Auburn fan. So, Matt, wrote a clap. The despair, the look in her eyes, and look at everybody in the background. And you know it's quiet when somebody like this is taking a video and you can hear the announcer. That's how you know it's quiet. And I saw a lot of people saying, man, I wish we could have seen Mads live reaction to the kick six in 2013. And my live reaction, it was very eerily similar to this. I didn't say a word. I remember it, man. I remember where I was at and everything. I don't think I said a word for about five minutes. And as they continue to show the replay, I was like, no, 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 that can't be it. I was in denial. At first, you don't know what to say, you're speechless. And then, you're in the denial phase. That's how I was. I remember waking up the next day, I'm like, man, no way. We lost to Auburn. I'm still denying it. I'm like, man, they're going to have to review the play or something. What a reaction. Thank you to Miss Livy Rubin for that. And yeah, let's take a look at the next one. I can't show you the sound on this one because she uses some copyright music over it. I'll just talk over it. It's just her and her friend. This is from Miss Savannah here. And... <laughs> I love these videos, man. Have I said that enough? I don't think I have. I love it, man. I love it. Just seeing how disappointed they got. We got one right here from Mr. Andrew Feeney. Shout out to Andrews. Check it out. I haven't even seen this one. <laughs> Dude, the guy in the background, I was like, no, 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 he was out of bounds. Hate to break the bad news to you, buddy, but uh, yeah, it most definitely wasn't out of bounds. And I actually, when re-watching it, I was like, I wonder if this would have counted in the NFL, and it would have, because Isaiah Bond got two feet in. Next one we got right here is from Miss Ruthie on TikTok, so let's take a look at this. <laughs> Okay, here's my question. Was this her live reaction to the touchdown pass or the sack and interception at the end of the game? I'm getting a feeling this was her reaction to when Auburn had the ball after the touchdown pass. But still, 
I love it, man. I love it. Next up, another female reaction. I guess all these females are wanting to post them on their Snapchat story or something like that. This one's from Miss Caroline Sellers. <laughs> The way she looked back at the end to make sure it was recorded and then she ended the video. You know she was mad. Okay, I can't have the sound of this one because I use copyright music yet again. But this is from Maddie McDaniel. They're all excited, thinking they're about to win. And you see it. The last second. Boom! It's caught! Touchdown Alabama! Isaiah Bond! On fourth and a mile! Alright, so here we go. Next one is from... This is a longer one. This is from Kayla C. Alabama oh my god! No, oh my god! Oh! <laughs> okay, 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 to give you some context here, I've already seen this one, but this kid, and th dude, it's so funny, I'm probably gonna die laughing again. This kid right here, he's an Auburn fan. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Bro's in denial, he's, like, he's out of bounds! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Dude, I ain't believing it. Oh my God. I am not believing it. He was out there. No, he wasn't. <laughs> Bro, when he saw the roof, he said he's out of bounds. And then he saw the replay. I like, know oh, he was. <laughs> oh my God. No, that's the best one I've seen. <laughs> Oh my goodness, man. Shout out to Kayla C. That's got to be the best one I've seen up until this point. Okay, so this one, I don't think I've seen this one. This is from a wedding reception. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness. This breaks my golden rule. No fall weddings. Who in their right mind decided to have their wedding reception during the Iron Bowl? Y'all know my rules, man. No fall weddings, man. Do not invite me to fall weddings. I'm telling you right now. I ain't showing up. It's as simple as that. And I especially ain't showing up during the Iron Bowl. Come on, man. And these are Auburn fans, so yeah, just for having your wedding during the Iron Bowl, you deserve to lose. Damn. Oh, no, 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 no. That's the only thing you can't do. That one guy in the back said, that's the only thing you can't do, and well, he's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Haley and Adam. <laughs> what a night. And I think it's safe to say those people at that wedding, that's going to be a night they're never going to forget. I have not seen this one. Somebody sent it to me. This is from Miss Ruby Simon. <laughs> Uh, Miss Ruby, yes way. Yes way. That was, uh, Mr. Isaiah Bond. On fourth and a mile! Okay, I haven't seen this one. These aren't Auburn fans. These are Alabama fans, but they get the Auburn fans' reactions to it, so yeah. Let's just... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Who, who made, okay, Alex, man, shout out to Alex, bro. He had the same reaction I had. No lie, I've seen a couple reactions from these Bama fans at the game, and I get you're sitting beside people and whatnot, but dude, I don't understand how they weren't running up and down the bleach. Dude, I'm telling you, they would have thrown me out the stadium after that one play. I would have ran on the field. See, this, even though he's screaming, I think this is a contained reaction, because y'all saw me, man. <laughs> Oh, I gotta pause this. I just love his girlfriend right here. How this guy's screaming, yes! And she's just <laughs> sitting there clapping so calm, calm, and collected. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, that's one of my favorite bad ones I've seen. Shout out to Alex. Okay, this is from Reed Parrish, and it says, first stage of grief, denial. So I assume he was like, no, no way. <laughs> No, it's not. No, it's not. 
<laughs> nah, bro wasn't flooded out. He's like, no, it ain't over. No, no, don't count. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, that's about as raw and as authentic as it gets. And I think that's going to be our last one. I've Hold on, I'm trying to see if... Oh, wait, no, we have another one. Wait a minute, this ain't an Auburn reaction, this is an Alabama reaction. Eh, why not, we'll leave it in there. I don't think you guys will mind too much. This was from Miss Sierra Devin. What about that? Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is it. Seriously. That was it. That was all the live reactions, and there's so many good ones, but off the top of my head, the one that stuck out the most to me was definitely that kid, the Auburn fan, where he's like, he's out of bounds. He's out of bounds. And then he saw that replay. He's like, no, he's not. And he goes, goes to his room and cries. I hate it for the kid, but, man, that was a legendary video. He'll look back at that in probably 10, 15 years and laugh at it. Well, actually, probably not because that was a, probably one of the worst moments in his life. But don't worry, kid. Life, it gets worse once you get older. I could sit up here all day and watch these live reactions. Uh, let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section down below. And I'm curious, if you're not an Auburn, Alabama fan, let me know how you reacted to the game. Because I feel like, because for example, even Kirk Herbstreet and who the guy that was next to him, I can't think of his name, drawing a blank here, they were going crazy and they're not Alabama fans. If you didn't have a horse in the race, I still feel like if you was watching that game live, when you saw it last play, you at bare minimum had to sit up in your chair and go, holy crap, what just happened? I could sit up here and talk about that last play in the game for the next 30 minutes. Y'all know this. Let me know your thoughts down below. But, uh, Robin!